ephedra, cannabis, artemisia, opium poppies. A lot of well-known drugs start with roots in the ground. This greenhouse at the San Diego Botanic Garden contains a lot of them, and it's the heart of the Medicinal Plants Initiative. Ben Naiman with the Botanic Garden says the initiative is a partnership between plants, scholarship, and the pharmaceutical industry. Here in San Diego County, we would have everything needed to go from a medicinal plant that's out in the environment, study them for their chemistry, their biology, their genetics, and actually translate those through the pharmaceutical pipeline into botanical drug products or Western medicines. The Medicinal Plants Initiative is the three-year-old creation of the Botanic Garden. Naaman says they have quadrupled their medicinal plant collection, now with 2,300 of them. Offering one example, Naaman said Native Americans in California used Yerba Santa for respiratory disorders like asthma and bronchitis. And the reason it's even called Yerba Santa, that's a Spanish name, is that when the Spaniards came over, they were introduced to this plant by the native people, and they found that it was more effective at treating tuberculosis than any drug they had brought from Europe. One of the goals of the Medicinal Plants Initiative is to understand plants genetically, and that's where Todd Michael comes in. He's a genetic researcher at the Salk Institute and a partner in the project. He says the challenge is identifying genetic pathways that give a plant its curative chemicals. We can say yes, this plant has the genes that make this chemical. Michael says for now, that kind of discovery is the object of the plant's initiative. However, once we know that a specific plant makes something, we could in the future do some hybridization of plants to get new species that either grow well here or grow well in other conditions. One plant here in the greenhouse that's well known for its medicinal qualities is one that you will find growing in San Diego County, ephedra. The source of ephedrine, it's a stimulant that's used for several ailments. Surgeons use it to prevent low blood pressure during anesthesia. Michael says even some plants we may consider native and wild have been influenced by the human hand. He says people have been breeding cannabis for at least 10,000 years. And so we have definitely co-evolved with medicinal plants so that they make things that make us happy so we continue to grow them. Other plants, Michael says, have developed their medicinal powers to prevent animals from eating them. He says maybe some critters that ate the stimulant ephedra ended up feeling tense and hyper. Or now they know, don't eat that plant, it will make you crazy. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.